Craig, we got there in the end, yeah. but come the final whistle and come the penalty shootout, yeah. what are your overriding emotions? Yeah, I think probably frustrated more than anything else, you know, it, it was a frustrating game full stop, you know, the, we, give a, we give a terrible goal away, um, we missed opportunities, we, we lacked a little bit of decisiveness, decisiveness and a little bit of quality in the final third, last pass, last finish. We didn't quite, didn't quite make the right decisions. So I think frustrated more than anything else. You did bring a, a starting line, a good strong starting line up here to yep. Chirk and Guion David made his debut yeah. as well. Yeah, he did. Yeah, you know, that, that reflects of, of, of what Guion has done in training and what he's done in games, you know, reserve games, under 19 games, etc. So, so he deserved the opportunity. You know, it was obviously, it was a frustrating game for him to come in with as well. You know, and um, but but yeah, that that's the Welsh Cup. We, we, we knew that. You know, when, when you get a away tie against a team in a, in a lower league, it, they're, they're not going to make it easy for you. You know, they're gonna they're gonna do everything they can to to try and try and cause an upset. And it was just important, whether it be penalties, whether it be normal time. Then we got through. Obviously, very disappointing that I took the penalties, but we missed enough opportunities and got in a good areas to to go through comfortably. And obviously, missed the penalty in open play as well. Lots of possession in the first yeah. half, but no goals. What were your thoughts going into the break? Yeah, just keep doing what we're doing, you know, keep keep doing what what we're good at, you know, and that, that was the, and we did all the way through the 90 minutes and, you know, and, and without without sounding, you know, flipping or anything, we'd done enough to win the game. We created enough chances to win two or three games, and I mean, one game, but we didn't quite make, like I said, didn't quite make that, that right decision on the last pass, the last shot, wherever it might have been, and um, and you know, and Chirk defended well. And they did take the lead, of course. Yeah. Then we had a, a golden opportunity to get back into the game, yeah. but unfortunately, the penalty shot hit the crossbar. Yeah, it did. That, that it happens. It happens in football, doesn't it? You know, penalties are, you know, they're, they're not a god given, and you know, we haven't had a great record of penalties lately. Obviously. In, in not too long ago, we got beat off Connors Key on penalties in the in the League Cup at the start of the season, just as I was joining the club. But um, but yeah, it, we we shouldn't be, you know, we we should have been out of sight really, to be honest. You know, we've we've created enough chances, we've created enough um, areas and gotten positions to just have a little bit more, make a better decision in the last the last pass, the last the last finish, the last cross, whatever it might have been, you know, and that that's that's, that's the way the Welsh Cup is. And we often talk about goals being spread throughout the team. Yeah. Will we have a defender to thank yeah. this afternoon because Keston Davis pulled us back into the game? Yeah, he did. You know, Keston's a great, it's a great header. You know, he's, he's a danger from set players. He scores off a corner. You know, and it was, um, it, it was a, we. I think we had about 15 corners in the first half, and we didn't quite get it right. It was a bit frustrating with that as well. You know, had opportunities and we didn't quite get it right. But you know, obviously Keston, Keston get that one, and you know, and, and got got into one one. And I think from then on in, it looked like we we're going to win the game. You know, but again, you know, we just um, we just didn't make them right decisions. And TNS's track record on penalties hasn't been brilliant in recent seasons. What were your thoughts when the referee blew for the final time in open play? Yeah, look, we've got good players. We've got a very good goalkeeper. So you look at it, and you you know. What what's went on in the in the past has went on in the past, but you know, I, I was I was confident because because we've got good players and the five players I wanted to take the penalties were of five very good players and like I said, we've got a fantastic goalkeeper, so we've got a chance. And you mentioned Connor Roberts there, mm. and we got off to a great start as far as he was concerned, yep. saving the first penalty. Yeah, we did. Yeah, and it always helps. And I don't know what the stats are. I think the the high fifties, even early sixties, by scoring the first. If you go first and you score the first penalty, then I think it's high fifties to, to low sixty percent chance you're going to win the penalty shootout. And it always helps when your goalkeeper makes a save off the first one. And finally, Craig, the the pitch. How do you think that had a bearing on today's game? Yeah, it does. You know. <laughs> Look, it's it's going to happen, isn't it? We're coming away to a, a team in the in the league below where, you know, the 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 grass is very long, the the pitch is very bobbly, it's, it's, it's very undulating. But we we you know we'll just get on with it. We'll we, we'll try and keep playing and doing what what we've done best. But I think it, it definitely had a little bit of an element because it slowed the game down a little bit, and, and that's not what we want. But it, but it is what it is, and we've got to just get over that. And well, finally, finally, so to speak, we are in action next week against Bala. That's a, a big game. Yeah, it is. They're all big games. You know, every single game is a big game. You know, if you um, 
if you're a football club like ours and you've got players and staff and, and management like ours that put pressure on ourselves that every game's a big game and you know today was the most important game of the week and it's done, it's dusted, we're through now and now we'll move on to Bala which is the next most important game.